Jesus said to love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor. This is the greatest commandment. We as a church desire to be obedient to that, and so we are built on love, regardless of location. We know that the church is about the people of God, depending on the work of God and growing in the grace of God. We are built on love, love for God and love for others. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation that we build our church. Hello and welcome to this episode of Built Vision, where we are building up in love together, talking about the vision of what God is doing in our church, Cornerstone Calvary Chapel, as well as the future vision of building a new building. Today, I have a special guest with us, Walter Miller, who is our construction manager. How are you doing today, Walt? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be back. It's good to have you back. And, and what we're going to be doing today is, is talking with you about just some updates of our building. We have these plans on the wall over here. Uh, very exciting stuff mm -hmm. going on. It's so it's good to see this like materialize even on paper yeah. in front of our eyes, you know. And I know people in our church are getting excited about it. So why don't you tell us a little bit about where we're at right now as far as the building project goes? Yeah, sure, Mike. So uh, right now we have uh, submitted our application to the planning board of Powell Township, mm -hmm. and what that really means is it's uh, the application gets split up and goes to many different desks. Mm -hmm. Uh, township desks, county desks, state desks, and everybody has some time to review the uh, application, the paperwork, and uh, they have their engineers and their attorneys all reviewed as well, with, and then they respond back with uh, any kind of uh, you know, questions or concerns. And then at that point, once they uh, deem it complete, we go before the board uh, to present our you know, vision to uh, how Township, the planning board, mm -hmm. and hope that uh, things go well and that they're yeah. very satisfied with what we're doing. Absolutely. So it's a lot of red tape is what you're saying. Yeah, it's a lot of red <laughs> tape. It's a lot of time, you yeah. know, and, uh, but, you know, it's the process that everyone has to go through. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're willing mm -hmm. to do it as well. Yeah. We're praying for favor in the midst mm -hmm. of all of it. Yeah. So here we have some sets of plans up on the wall. Uh, let's talk about the exterior first. Let's start over here on this one. Uh, why don't you tell us what we're looking at right here. <laughs> uh, this is a bird's eye view, isometric drawing of the building showing a portion of the property around it. But just keep in mind that of course we know we have uh, uh, plenty more space around it, but just this area here is representative of the grading just so we can see how it's going to be located right. on the property uh, or against the building. Uh, but uh, what you can see here is that we have a, a, a first level entry, which is the main entry here, where we'll be able to enter into the building, and then it wraps around to a walkout, which is our second level. Right. Uh, you can also see here in this plan, actually, it shows a little bit better of a taper, uh -huh. uh, and what it, you know, the, the back of the building is going to look like you know, versus the front. Uh, you can see that we're uh, just we designed it with a more a very traditional look, uh, something that we felt would be very uh, conforming to Howell Township's master plan yeah. as well. Um, and not to mention, it really just uh, speaks uh, the you know that it is a church, and mm -hmm. we have a a big foyer out front. If you even in this building that we're in now. Um, we really loved what we did with the front mm -hmm. uh, porch, just mm -hmm. having that area where we can yeah. uh, run into in the times of bad weather. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we redesigned that in the front of this building as well. And uh, yeah, so it just um, gives you a good idea, a good perspective, I think, of the, the size of the building mm -hmm. uh, and uh, each elevation and direction. Absolutely. Okay, so that's outside, and, and we're, we're, like we said, there's going to be a lot of land, a lot of fun things we could do with a lot of land, so that would be Absolutely. great. And, and of course, it's not going to be all grass. There's going to be yeah. a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, the parking well. lot is pretty much all out here. Yeah, so. yeah. And we'll get to talk about some more stuff as we have other episodes to do that as well. But let's talk about the inside now, yeah, let's do starting that. with this one. This is the main level uh, right here. Yeah. So let's go there. All right, so the main level you can see, is, of course, we talked about the covered patio you enter in, and then we have this very large foyer. Uh, just to give you an idea of how big this foyer is, um, this foyer is uh, just a bit larger than our current sanctuary even. All so right. <laughs> there's plenty of capacity, yeah. plenty of area for us to be able to fellowship before right. and after services. Yeah. 
uh, we're going to design it with the cafe mm -hmm. open to this area. It also has uh, open access to the children's air wing, which is down below on the mm -hmm. lower level. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a, an open vestibule area. You can look down and mm -hmm. see your uh, kids as they're being checked in. Yeah. Um, you can also see across the front of the sanctuary here, what we did mm -hmm. was uh, we designed it with the prayer room, family room, the nursing mom's room with the mm -hmm. buffer, so that way it creates a little bit of a uh, just a sound isolation right. between the two areas because right. we really enjoy the fellowship. We enjoy allowing people to linger around before mm -hmm. and after mm -hmm. services and to connect. And so this will allow uh, for that to happen. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we enter into the sanctuary area here, which you can see it's showing 730 seats, and that's a comfortable 730. Right. Um, it's just substantially larger than what we have yeah. now. Uh, it, 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 just to give in perspective, that would just about fit both our services in one right, right. now. So um, we have a, a large stage across the front that's going to just allow ample space for uh, the band and for mm -hmm. the, the just different um, uh, presentations from the church mm -hmm. uh, body. So mm -hmm. uh, with that, then we come over to this side, which is the upper level of the children's wing. Mm -hmm. The upper level is just a full-on gymnasium, and it's got a little stage there for the youth band yeah. and for the children's band. Yeah. Uh, it's really great that with this combined with what's down below, I mean, you can get almost 400 kids in this area yeah. for, you know, the children's worship. Uh, but that's not even maximum capacity. Right. We could fit almost double that right. if we really wanted to get crazy. Yeah. So um, anyway, that gives you a little bit of an idea of what's happening uh, upstairs. We've, uh, then if we move downstairs, mm -hmm. uh, the downstairs right now, any of the grade area, just so you can see, this is going to be for future expansion. Sure. You know, just uh, we don't necessarily need all this space, right. but let's focus here on the children's wing. Uh, we've got... Uh, nine classrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, each of the classrooms can hold between 40 and 50 children, so mm -hmm. that gives you an idea of how many, yeah. uh, you know, at the capacity of our children's ministry yeah. on a Sunday. That's 400 to 450 kids just yeah. at one service. Yeah. Uh, this area is going to be designed completely for them to just be able to be, you know, secured and locked off mm -hmm. where they can just, you know, focus and, uh, you know, be taught on their level the Word of God. So we've got a children's foyer that allows them to enter in and out. We've got multiple stairs mm -hmm. to get up to the uh, upper elevation uh, of the building. So uh, then we come back to the back here. You can see that we designed this with uh, eight offices, including the reception area, which gives plenty of space for uh, the current staff mm -hmm. and also for volunteer staff and other staff members as mm -hmm. the church grows and increases in its leadership team. Um, and then we've got this great uh, open entrance that where this would be at grade level around the back of the building. Uh, so plenty of light's going to be able to come in from this area. It will be just wide open. We've got this area for future expansion. We've yeah. got like the vision of maybe an old, uh, or a fellowship hall yeah. here at one time, you know, one point. Um, we've got a kitchen here. Of course, uh, the kitchen's still being designed a little bit, but mm -hmm. uh, right now it's shown quite big. But yeah. Uh, you know, we've got lofty dreams. I think we'll probably see it, you know, <laughs> designed a little bit uh, more conforming to the size of a yeah. good commercial-sized kitchen, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, we've got this future expansion. I think, mm -hmm. again, in this area, we've got ideas of maybe some more uh, adult classrooms, yeah. uh, maybe a youth, uh, you know, area, a youth yeah. group area. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, we'll see what, what the need is as we uh, grow into it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm particularly very excited about a children's foyer. Mm -hmm. like a lot of times the kids come out of the, the children's ministry after the service is over. They don't know where to go or what to do. Yeah. You know, so they're like running around the sanctuary or wherever they can find space. And so now there's some dedicated space. Those mm -hmm. families can fellowship and the, the kids can have some freedom down yeah. there. It'll be really nice for them. Yeah. Uh, nice for the families and, and the kids all together. Yeah. So, and I know it's hard to it's not really represented well on a 2D plan, but yeah. we did actually we have a this opening. It's almost like a if, you know, for the sake of like in a residence where you would have like a two level uh, yeah. front entry. Yeah, you would be able to see from the upper level down like and a balcony. Just, and yeah, you could look down. Yeah, and we're really excited for that just to be able to you know uh, see you know our families just connects the whole mm -hmm. thing instead of really isolating uh, the yeah. upper and lower levels it really much more welcome that yeah. way for sure yeah. so all right well looking forward to see how this all materializes yeah. and thank you walt for joining us today on built vision yeah, appreciate glad it to be here thank you look forward to next right. time this has been built vision make sure to join us next time